Hello and welcome. I sometimes get asked, where do I get Lazy Boy parts? Well, today I'm going to show you everything you need to know to get your Lazy Boy recliner replacement parts. That's coming right up. So let's start with where to order those parts, right? Well, you can go directly to the manufacturer at LazyBoy.com. Go to their customer service area and you can make your parts request right there. If you'd rather go through a dealer, like the store where you purchased your furniture, you can do that as well. If for some reason the store that you bought your chair at is no longer open or they no longer carry or service Lazy Boy, you can try another dealer as well. Just keep in mind that when it comes to furniture retailers, their top focus is always going to be selling furniture. So if you try ordering parts through a store where you didn't buy your furniture, they may not cooperate with you. If they don't want to order the parts for you, no problem. You can always try another dealer or just go directly through Lazy Boy. So let's take a quick look at what you'll need for your part order, and then we'll look at some of these items in more detail after that. For starters, they'll need your name and address, of course. You'll also need some identification numbers from your reclining furniture. For Lazy Boy, you'll need that ACK and style number for all part orders. And if you're ordering any upholstered parts, you'll also need the cover number. For warranty part orders, you'll need to provide your purchase or delivery date. If you're not the original owner of the chair, but you'd like to get some parts, you can do that. We'll cover that in a moment. They also need to know exactly what parts you need. And last but not least, they will require payment in advance. Okay, you're going to need some information off your furniture ID tags. So I'm going to link to a video that shows you how to locate those tags on your reclining furniture. Once you locate them, you're going to need to take a clear picture or jot down some of this information or carefully remove the tags and use the information to place your parts order. So let's take a look at some tag examples. Okay, there are three different tag types I'm going to show you. This first one is called a hang tag or a ribbon tag. When the footrest is in the open position, this tag can be found hanging down behind the open footrest. I'm going to call this tag the box tag because the ID numbers are contained within these boxes. And this last one I'm going to refer to as the swatch tag. It's got a blank space here where a piece of your cover material is normally attached. Now let's take a closer look at each of these tags to see what information you're going to need for your part order. Okay, the first number you need is the ACK number. It's 15 digits long and sometimes has two dashes or two spaces. You'll need all 15 digits. Next is the style number. That's below the ACK number on this ribbon tag. If you need to order any upholstered parts, you'll also need a cover number, which you'll see below the style number on this hang tag. And finally, it's not required, but it's a good idea to know the year of manufacture for your chair. Uh, sometimes there's a question as to which version of a part is needed for your chair. It's just something that's good to know in case a rep would ask you. Now let's look at a box tag. Here's the ACK number. And below that we see this box with the letter A. This is the style number. To the right of that box is a box with the letter B in the left hand side. This is the cover number if you need it. And lastly, here's the expect to ship date if you need to know the year of manufacture. Now let's look at a swatch tag. I don't recommend using this tag unless it's the only one you have. As you can see here, the full ACK number is not printed, just the first nine digits. And this number below the style number, it's not labeled. It's the cover number. And there is no expect to ship date on this tag. So it's better than nothing, but it doesn't provide you with all the information you'll need. So if you have access to the other tags, use them instead. You'll also need your purchase or delivery date with your Lazy Boy warranty parts order. If uh, you no longer have your receipt, keep in mind you can always check with the retailer where you made your purchase. Just be aware that some of those stores only keep that information, those records, for a short period of time. If your Lazy Boy purchase was a special order, your name should actually be printed on at least one of those ID tags. 
So it's a good substitute for proof of purchase if you no longer have your receipt. Now at the time of this video, Lazy Boy does require a $13 part order processing fee. Now if you're not the original owner, can you still get parts? Yes. Maybe someone gave you a Lazy Boy chair or you bought one used. What you want to do is request a quote up front. You want to know, first of all, if the parts are available, what the total cost for parts and shipping will be. Because depending on what you need, some Lazy Boy parts can be rather expensive. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.